Hello everyone and welcome to today's World of Warcraft ASMR video. My cat is next to me. She just didn't want to leave, so if you're wondering, that's her. So in today's video, I am going to be leveling a shaman orc. So, a horty, I know. And I'll just be leveling and just questing, walking around the orc starting zone in Season of Discovery, Classic WoW. I really like Enhancement Shamans, and back in the days, only Horde could be Shaman, and only Alliance could be Pal. So I had to make a... <laughs> My cat is looking at me like, why are you speaking like this? <laughs> so I had to be a horde, which is fine, I really don't mind. So I hope that the horde players out there will find this video nostalgic and relaxing. So thank you so much for being here, don't forget to like and comment before you get too sleepy. Now let's get started with the video. So I play on Crusader Strike. It's a RP PvP server. Actually, no, that's where I play my alliance. And my horde now is on Wild Growth, a normal server. Um, the server I play on is losing a bit of um, population right your place in the world. Okay. I never paid attention to these quests, so I actually don't know what they're about. Um, strangle a great dragon or demon with your bare hands. Report to Gornak. He'll be able to assign a task. Okay. Let's do that. I will, by the way, turn on the music. Just slightly in the background. I think it's quite relaxing in this zone. It just sounds like Westfall and I think that's pretty cool. Um, your place in the world. Okay. First order of business. But yeah, what I was saying is that um, I wish I played on a different server with all my Alliance characters, but back then they were all full and I went for this server. I wish I picked another one, but now I'm kind of stuck and population went down. I hope that if at some point it's going down a lot, Blizzard will give us free transfers like they did with Vanilla Classic. I'm gonna turn um, auto loot on. So we'll see. For now, even though it's um, not highly populated or full, it does not feel empty at all. There's still a lot of people, so it's definitely not dead. It's just probably not as insanely busy as the other ones and in the long term I think being on a highly populated server is better but we're gonna we're gonna see just notice that oh, I got a frayed cloak nice just notice that um, this entire zone is so orange makes my face look red <laughs> but it's fine I think warmer tones are quite relaxing for your eyes so. there's something in here kill Sarkoth I really have not done these quests that often so I don't know them as well as I know all the Alliance starting zone quests. 
which I know by heart. So now we're killing 10 mottled boars to prove our strength to the horde as our first task as a young orc shaman. Gonna try to also show you the environment a bit so that we can appreciate all of this. I do think this is a really cool like setting these type of rocks. Quite impressive. Other than that, I always prefer the lions and the lion zones as horde zones just feel like a barren wasteland. It has its charm, you know. So I just leveled up to level 2. And I just need to kill one more boar. Can't wear mill yet. At level 40, I believe, I'll be able to wear mill as a shaman. An enhancement shaman is just so much fun. Wind Fury. So even though this quest is a bit high, I'm going to pick it up anyway. And we're going to turn in the Cutting Teeth quest and pick up the other one. Um, okay, it's a big scorpion that attacked this guy and we need to kill it. I am very curious about all the runes for Shaman. And I know we're gonna get a starting zone rune, like a, a rune that is a bit explained to us to start off with, so I hope we can just easily do that. really don't like the hairstyles of orc females. They're just so bad. Okay, this is my shaman trainer, Shikrik. Icons of power. Shamanism is an ancient practice. Saura. I tried to give myself some kind of horde. Orc sounding name, Saura. Preferably I would have had a apostrophe. But you can't. <laughs> but you can't. It's like, <laughs> okay, mate. Many artifacts full of spiritual energy can be found across Azeroth. I had recently discovered an icon of notable power myself. But it was stolen by those pesky scorpids. One of them is likely carrying it around thinking it a shiny curio to be used as a decoration for their nest. When you find the icon, learn its power and return to me. Okay. Find a stolen icon by slaying scorpids in the Valley of Trials. Learn its power and then report back. And it's a chest rune. Okay. This one is pretty straightforward. Okay, we're going to pick the leather item, and then this quest requires us to get Scorpid Worker Tails. Okay, so we're all going to be in the good spot with all the Scorpios, basically. Read the rune inscribed parchment. Okay, I've been chosen, apparently. Farewell. Okay, sundering your enemies will be child's play. Healing your allies as easy as breathing. Keep that in mind. Good to know. I have no money. I need to sell something. Where are the vendors here again? Is it inside? 
yeah, the location of this is not that optimal here, but it's all good. So I'll sell whatever I have. And that is not enough 79 copper right wait is it that bad here I feel like in the human starting zone for example you get plenty of stuff from selling and you can easily buy your next skill but now yeah I, oh okay I can get rock bite or weapon imbues my weapon increasing melee attack power we're going to apply that. Allowing melee attacks to cause additional threat. Oh, that's cool. I believe you can be a shaman um, tank in Season of Discovery, right? Because I would be interested in that. Okay, there's a group that calls itself Burning Blade. And it has a coven here. Defeat these familiars. Okay, I will. Okay, this guy's gonna make a treat with some cactus apples, so we need to get those for him. Easy, I'll do. So we need to get some of these. Ten cactus apples. Yeah. <laughs> She's just hanging out. Wonder if you can hear the purr. Okay. Where are the scorpids? They're in the back. Okay. Since like a week or so, I've noticed that playing WoW gives my see a very loud sound like I think it's my graphics card that has like a high buzzing buzzing sound and it didn't seem to do that before it just happened from one day to the other where specifically wow makes my I think my GPU buzz very loudly and the moment I tap out to my other screen, it stops. So it's really only when I tap to WoW and then I tap out and it stops. And then I saw one of my guild members, my guild mates, talk about this. Saying that he has this loud fan spinning in his PC every time he, he starts WoW since like a week. And I was like, wait. So we talked about it and then there was a third person that was like, oh, now that you mention it, I actually have that too. And we couldn't find anything about it online. Whether it's something related to the last update or whatever, but there's something going on and it's making some of our PCs react very intensely to WoW. So I don't really know what it is and what to do about it I hope it gets fixed I hope it's not my GPU that is like accidentally just I don't know breaking down it shouldn't it's it's not that old but yeah 
wondering if there's more people with this issue and um, if they got any info about it. Okay, so that aside, I found the Scorpid workers and I've got two of their tails so far. I need ten. I do run out of mana because I just need to spam lightning bolt for now But uh, that's okay. I'll just drink refreshing spring water I have zero memory of these imps in this zone. I had no clue I don't remember any of them here at all. I guess that's how long ago it is since I played this. I am extremely bright, I'm sorry. I hope it's not too bad. Okay, four more of those, and then I need to kill twelve of these familiars. Ah, that's the... Like the occult gold thingy that they talked about. Oh. Oh, I got my... Icon relic for my rune. Learn a new ability after receiving nature damage. That's probably when I use my shield that I learn at like level 4 or something. I'll need to check. Often these are related to a new ability that you can learn. do need um, three more scorpion tails and a bit more of those. Um, no, actually, I don't need the apples anymore. Finish this up. Wonder where the big scorpion Oh, I just leveled up. I'm level 3 now. Two more scorpion tails. One more. The casting animation for female orcs does look like arching my back and all of that. It's a bit of a shame because I do like this face of the um, female orc. They just gave them such bad hairstyle options. And I know, I hear you thinking like, who okay, cares? The way my character looks is like one of the most important things to me in MMOs. Oh man, I've been very unlucky with this. Okay, I used the, um, the rune, the relic thing. So now it's kind of like a buff that I have. Oh wait. I did... I did build up inspiration already. Oh, I'm poisoned now. Does that tick? That... Oh, yeah, I should get poisoned by them. That's what it is. And then I get the rune. Okay, I'm just gonna melee the scorpions then. Hope that they give me poison. I'll just wait. Come on, poison me. Are you not? Okay. 
If you hear weird uh, sounds, that's my cat. She's being very restless. Okay, I got it, so then I can use this item and right click it. And I learn overload. Gives your lightning bolt, chain lightning, and chain heal, and healing wave, and lava burst spells a 50% chance to cast a second similar spell at no additional cost that causes half damage or healing and no threat. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Wonder how high the chance is. So let's see. We're going to use lightning bolt. Oh, there it, it did it. It's like a double cast. Oh, and again. Okay. Okay. I was probably just very lucky. I'm sure it doesn't proc that often. Just got a ragged, ragged, ragged. It when people do that. <laughs> now he wants to group up. It's fine. I'll do it. Where are my demons at? Halfway, need six more of those. What is it, chance? Fifty percent. Oh, wait, fifty percent chance, guys. That's quite a lot. That's a pretty high chance. Not mad, not complaining. Oh, this guy talked to me and I didn't pay attention to chat. BRB, he's gonna gather some cactus and come back. Sure, I'm almost done though. Where's the scorpion? Bit of a bummer that I can't uh, loot. Minji, can you sit down, please? Bit of typing there. I'm sure you like that. Okay, now I can at least see where the big guy is at. Um, that's probably in a cave or something. Or I have a vague memory that he is somewhere up. For now, I have quite a few quests to turn in. Oh, I also have the Lazy Peon quest. So I'll do that first. And hopefully have enough for my next spells. I should have enough. Um... Okay. 
we have two and a half ish silver. Should be plenty. Through the div divine nations, I see that an item of power hides deep within the burning blade coffin. Bring the burning blade medallion to Zaretha. Okay, so we gotta go into. in the cave for sure I'm also gonna pick up the Lazy Bee on Quest. What you gotta smack them back to work. Okay. I guess this guy is part of the video now. What is he called? Dirt Eater. <laughs> Dirt Eater, if you're there. Gotta say hi to him. <laughs> okay. Any lazy peons around here? is like glowing. Wait, let me see if I can um, reduce that a bit. I think that's better. <laughs> Slightly better. Not too much. Okay. Oh, I went back up. Finally, it gets a bit <laughs> lighter on the eyes. Um, we might need to be up there, right? Usually how these caves work is that you need to be up, but I'll just kill these Felstall.
I am gonna leave because Three people in a group is just so much less XP at this level. I appreciate the help. Okay. I will just run out because this guy just pulled the whole cave. <laughs> so I just want to take advantage of that and run after him. Okay, now we do need to wake up more peons and I'm having a hard time finding them. When I find them, they're already working. Like this one. There's one here, but I feel like you gotta be quick. I'm gonna smack him. Get to work. Sook, sook. Now this guy might go and take a nap. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Okay. This feels really bad. See, that's why I played Alliance as a kid and stuck to it. I don't like being mean to innocent NPCs like this. Poor guy just gets smacked. Wonder how often they and if it's worth it to just wait. Are you gonna sleep? Yes. Okay. okay. Now there should be another one there. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. If I'm lucky, I get it in time. This is done. Now I need to figure out where this scorpion is, and that's basically the, the big quest of the starting zone. Okay, might be here, right? That makes sense. It goes up a little ramp. Yep, yeah, it's here for sure. This makes a really cool pet. It's like the black and red Scorpio design. I think this is pretty cool to have as a pet. Okay, going back to that troll dude over there to turn in this quest. All four quests are complete. That always feels so good. Continue. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn in these quests and probably this is it for this part and we're gonna have to move on to Senjin Village. I, I remember I do like this part because you need to go to these little islands. And I always thought that was pretty fun. So I'm gonna turn in all the quests first, and then whatever reward I don't need, I will sell after. Okay, we're gonna go for the legs. I got a potion. Equip these. Ooh. Thick thigh orc. <laughs> okay. Your trials here are finished. Go to the troll village of Senjin. That's where 
our adventure will continue. Find Spirit Rock and drink the Earth Septa. Septa is a drink created to bind our spirits to the elements. Okay, I've heard of um, substances like that before. We'll see. Interesting. Okay, no spells yet. I need to be level 6. Kind of forgot about that. Turn this in. Okay, I'm gonna sell all of this. Oh, this actually gives you a food buff. That early on, I didn't know about that. Um, Earth Sep Tower is that quest. Where do I do that? Find a spirit rock and drink the Earth Septa. Southwest of here. Let's see if we can find that. It's probably somewhere here. Southeast, the guy said. Can I? Oh, I, I have a vague memory of this and I was so confused. Running around and having no idea how to get there. Looks like there's some kind of path here. Okay. Spirit Rock. Now, this looks like a quest objective, right? Now, like, let's drink our um, questionable substance. Hello there. Okay. Take this rough quartz from me and bring it back as a proof and that's gonna give me my stone skin totem oh yes i forgot that you need to have all these earth totems in your bag like earth totem wind totem and stuff to be able to use them I am so going here. Like this. I'm sorry, I just got like intrusive thoughts and hyped. This is such a big skip to the Barrens. Oh my god, I got a level 22 weapon from that. It gives me 17 silver. That is a lot for level 5. What is this skip? I had no idea. <laughs> Noob horde player here. That saves so much time for when I'm gonna like <laughs> level here. I can just easily like fly. It's probably not that big of a skip. Still, I'm excited. <laughs> I got the flight path. And now I can just hearthstone back and I'll be right where I need to turn in my quest. Oh man. It was meant to be. Okay, there we are. <laughs> I'm gonna turn in this quest. I'll have my stone skin totem. I'm gonna have to figure out where the heck I'm gonna put all of these totems because it's gonna be a lot. But um, for now, I'll just put it there. Yeah, okay. And yeah, that's it. I got one more quest, but I can't be bothered going all the way back to the cave now. I'm going to end the video here. 
It's been a good session. I hope that you guys enjoyed another season of Discovery video. I'm still having a blast. I'm excited for the next phase. And this time on the Hort side. Um, and at the same time, hopefully a bit of nostalgia for those of you that played uh, Orcs or Trolls. So thank you guys so much. I hope that you're all relaxed. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you.